Hi Dean, hi Dale, it's Grammy Grams and it's story time. Let's say hi to Tanya, Rhonda, Randy, Sandy, Christian, John, and Johnny, Jonathan, Logan, and Reggie. That's Christine's friend. You know who you are. We're gonna do Clifford Gets a Job. And this is by Norman Bridwell. We've been doing Clifford's lately, so we have a lot of those. He's the big red dog, woohoo. Just got off of work, long day. Hello, my name's Emily Elizabeth. How is it, Rod? If you don't live, if you don't live on my street, you may not know me or my dog, Clifford. Good. He's not, he's a lot of fun to play with. There is only one bad thing about Clifford. He eats a lot of dog food and a lot of dog food costs a lot of money. I bet, look at that food. There, okay. He, we were spending all of our money for dog food. Mother and daddy didn't know what to do. We will have to we will have to send Clifford away, they said. Clifford didn't want to go away. He made up his mind to get a job and pay for his own dog food. He decided to join the circus. Good old Clifford. The circus man liked Clifford. Clifford got the job. Ooh. But they put him in a sideshow. He just sat there and people just looked at him. Clifford wanted to do something. Clifford's a busy dog, you know. He peeked into a tent. He saw little dogs doing tricks. Clifford wanted to do tricks too. <clears throat> so he ran into the tent and tried to jump through the hoop, just like the little dogs. Oh, silly Clifford. He can't do that, he's too big. His nose won't even fit in the hoop. It didn't work. In the next ring, Clifford saw the little dog riding on a pony. Oh, I hope he doesn't try that. He's too big, look at him, he can't ride a pony. He's bigger than the pony. Clifford thinks he can't do anything a little dog can do, but he can't. Oh my word, look at him. He set his leg on a pony. I hope he didn't hurt him. See that? Oh goodness gracious, Clifford. Look at him, Rod. That Clifford. <clears throat> the circus man was angry and asked Clifford to leave. Don't worry, I said. You can get another job. So we went to see another farmer. So we went to see a farmer. I wonder what he can do in a farm. The farmer thought Clifford would be a good farm dog. He said Clifford could work for him. First, Clifford rounded up the cows. It's a good job for him. See that? Not bad. <clears throat> then Clifford brought some, then Clifford brought home a wagon full of hay. He was doing so well. And then he saw a rat running into the barn. Clifford knew that rats on a farm were very bad. Don't know why. So Clifford chased after the rats. Clifford, 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 look what he did. See what he did to the barn. Oh, he's always making a mess of things at Clifford. He doesn't mean to. Clifford and I started home. He felt very bad. Everything had gone wrong. Suddenly, a car came speeding past us. Ooh, it's robbers. Look at them. They're bad guys. See them? They have masks on and a gun. Very bad guys. You think Clifford's going to save the day? No? You don't think so, Rod? And right behind it came a police car. They were chasing the robbers. I was right. Clifford took a shortcut through the woods. He's running as fast as his feet can possibly go. And you know they go fast because Clifford's big. Look at her, she's hanging on tight, tight as she can. She should have held on to it. Look at Rod, she should have 
held on to his um, necklace thing. This way. And caught the robbers. I was very proud. The chief of police offered Clifford a job as a police dog. Now Clifford goes to work every day and they don't pay him money, but what do you think they pay him? I bet it's dog food. Every week they send Clifford a lot of dog food and now we can't keep him. Isn't that wonderful? Good old Clifford. Look at all that food, you guys. Look at lots and lots of food. Now they can keep their dog. Yay. Good night, Dean. Good night, Dale. Mm. Grammy Graham loves you so much. Uncle Rod does too. Say bye, Rod. See you guys.